What's going on everybody? Today I'm going to demonstrate how to use the ignition coil detection feature on your Autel KM100. Uh, this feature is not specific to Autel. It's on a lot of similar devices like your X-Horse key tool. So keep an eye out. It's a very helpful function to have. The reason I'm making this video is I get quite a few calls uh, from shops, from customers. Hey, my key stopped working. So when I go to these calls, I need to be prepared to diagnose their concern, make sure I'm not wasting their time, my time, or anybody's money. So what I'm going to do is go through the ropes. I won't show it on this video, but of course I'd start by checking their key puts out a, a, a signal on the transponder, which you could do here, reading clothing. We check that it puts out a signal with the remote, which you do here, frequency detection. And then of course you can make sure that the ignition coil is putting out a signal itself. So for that you go to special function and you will see in that menu we've got ignition coil detection down here. Now before I select that I'm going to show you that I have two keys here. I've got one key that is programmed to the car. And I've got one key that is not programmed to the vehicle. So I'll demonstrate that real quick. <clears throat> we'll go to our cluster. You'll see our uh, theft light up there. I'll put the program key in and our theft light will go away after a second. Keys programmed to the car. I could start it, drive away. <clears throat> There's our theft light blinking. We'll take our unprogrammed key in the ignition, ignition on, theft light's not going to stop blinking. That key's not programmed, I'm not going anywhere with that. So, the reason I'm demonstrating this is you want everybody on the same page that the key is not in the equation of if your ignition coil is putting out a signal or not. So, I'm going to take my programmed key and we're gonna start with that one first. I will select ignition coil detection and it's given me some instructions. It wants our key tool with our antenna near the ignition and then it wants the ignition to be turned on. So I'm not super close to it but I'm in the vicinity. I'm gonna take my programmed key and I'm gonna turn the ignition on and pay attention down here. If everything picks up it's going to tell me the signal there when I turn it on. So there we go. High tag 2 ID 46. I'll turn it off. I'll try it again. Detected it again. Now I'm not going to do it in the video, but for the sake of diagnosis, I'd like to do it about 10 or 15 times to make sure there's not an intermittent, no start issue. Due to the ignition coil maybe it picks up here and there uh, but anyway we'll go to the unprogrammed key next I'm going to demonstrate with a fresh menu we'll back out we'll select again ignition coil detection take our unprogrammed key turn ignition on and we will see that detect high tag 2 ID 46 again so there we go. I'll do it one more time. Second reading. Now I'm pretty confident that my ignition coil is operating as it should. I hope this video helps you guys. Uh, make sure, do your research on everything. Uh, this feature works on almost every make and model. I've used it on European cars. This is a Honda. So try it out. I hope this helps. Thanks for your time.